Hello guys, today we'll be covering a 2017 family film called Max 2 White House Hero. All relevant links and information for the film will be in the pinned comment below, so let's get into it. As the movie begins, we see two secret agents, including Agent Thorne. The other agent gives secret data to Agent Thorne. They're talking about the departure of the Secret Service's dog. Charlie and then another secret agent introduce Max, a trained Belgian Malinois dog who will accompany Agent Thorne to ensure the security of the White House together. The scene then shifts to the White House. Thomas Bennett, who served as president at the time, is having breakfast and watching TV with his family. The president's son, TJ Bennett, complains about his experience while at the school. He often finds it difficult to make friends at the school because every time a child approaches him, two bodyguards would immediately search the child, which eventually makes them uncomfortable and restrained. President Bennett tries to explain to his son until TJ finally understood. On the way to his school, he accidentally meets Max and TJ starts playing with him. Max also really likes TJ, but Agent Thorne doesn't let TJ play with Max and takes him away. At the school, two bodyguards are seen standing behind TJ everywhere inside the school, which makes them uncomfortable. As a result, TJ couldn't do anything freely at the school. In the next scene, TJ arrives at the White House back from the school. The tour going on in the White House scares him and every tour member starts taking his photo. After that, TJ is seen having food with Chef Coop. Since no one befriends him and his parents are also negligent about this matter, TJ has made Chef Coop his friend and he spends most of his time with him. Next, TJ meets Max again in the hallway. President Bennett arrives there and he too is seen playing with the dog. President Bennett orders Agent Thorne to let Max play with TJ in his off hours. But Agent Thorne refuses and doesn't want Max to be confused with his task while he continues playing with TJ. But with the power of his father, TJ finally gets to play with Max. Later, TJ is seen playing with Max everywhere. The relationship between Max and TJ is getting closer, and Max, who's assigned to help the Secret Service, feels like being at home after meeting with TJ. The following day, TJ takes Max to the school as well. And because of Max, he makes friends at the school and they invite TJ to their party as well. When he comes home, TJ asks permission to go to a party with his friends, but his parents deny going anywhere that night because Russian President Vladimir Bragov is coming to the White House. TJ is then assigned to accompany President Bragov's daughter, Alex, who's the same age as him. Even though he's angry with his father, he agrees and gets ready for dinner. Upon the arrival of President Bragov, TJ's mom and President Bennett accompany him. Now it's just the two of them, TJ and Alex. TJ is shocked after learning that Alex knows so much about him already. Soon, he introduces Max to Alex. After getting acquainted with Alex, TJ takes Alex to the kitchen and introduces her to Chef Coop, his other friend. In the next scene, Alex and TJ are seen eating in a room. They both bond over the mutual unfairness that they face being President's children. TJ tells Alex about the party and Alex suggests sneaking out to the party. So they both plan on going to the party and skipping dinner. They lock Max there in the room and enter another room through the window and sneak into the kitchen. He even takes the staff's clothes to make it easier for them to get out without anyone recognizing and they left the house by joining the other kids who were there on the tour. Meanwhile, Max also manages to unlock the door and follow Alex and TJ. When one of the bodyguards enters TJ's room to give them drinks, he finds out both the two president's children have escaped. Chaos ruminates in the White House after learning about this incident. Next, Alex and TJ are seen on the side of the road on the way to the party. Suddenly, a van approaches them and a man in a mask tries to kidnap TJ. However, Max arrives there just in time and helps him. Moments later, the second kidnapper comes out of the van as well and Max bites one of them. They then leave in the kidnapper's van. In the next scene, TJ, Max, and Alex reach home. TJ tells his angry dad and Agent Thorne that the kidnappers were speaking Russian. He then requests his father to check all Russians whose ankles were bitten by Max. But he refuses and tells TJ that the Secret Service agents will take care of this and sends them to sleep before he could say anything else. Later, TJ overhears them saying that they don't believe what he said. The following morning, the families of the American president and Russian president go to a camp. The closeness between Alex and TJ falls apart because of TJ's suspicion about the bad Russians. Also, TJ suspects Alex's involvement in the kidnapping action last night. Meanwhile, his father and President Bragov are seen together having fun. Next, TJ and Chef Coop are seen talking in the backyard. He tells everything to Coop about last night's kidnapping incident, and he suspects Russian Chef Dmitry might be involved in the kidnapping. Out of curiosity, TJ starts to follow Dmitry wherever he goes with Max. 
His suspicions get stronger when he sees Dimitri carrying an unusual box and entering an empty house. Because of the difficulty in interpreting Dimitri's language, TJ uses Google Translate, but got a surprising answer. As TJ enters the house to catch him, it turns out Dimitri was making the Russian rye bread. Dimitri warns TJ to complain to his parents, but Alex comes on time and saves him. It turns out Alex is also investigating someone who will harm her family and TJ's family. Alex then suspects one of her dad's security guards. She catches her putting on ankle ointment, which could be because of Max's bite last night. President Bennett, who looks exhausted from riding a horse for four hours, tries to please President Bragov to negotiate the peace talks. But President Bragov refuses and orders him to have fun that day. President Bennett agrees. Next, we see Alex and TJ along with Max following the bodyguard on whom they have suspicions. They follow her to an unusual basement. They quietly enter the basement and see the bodyguard wearing headphones and speaking in Russian. TJ installs a camera around Max's neck and connects it to his iPad. To get a closer look, he orders Max to sneak closer to her. Max manages to go close to her and see her ankle. After seeing her ankle, Alex and TJ find out it's just a tattoo, not a dog bite. Suddenly, another bodyguard enters the basement and catches them sneaking around. In the next scene, we see that they're both taken home. President Bragov, frustrated, takes Alex away. Agent Thorne suggests taking Max away from TJ as his punishment, but President Bennett doesn't do such a thing at TJ's pleading. Later that day, President Bragov and President Bennett go boating with Alex and TJ. There, we see someone spraying on the boat. They get on the boat and enjoy the ride while Agent Thorne is checking the perimeter with Max. The damage to the boat is increasing because of the spray. Moments later, the plastic boat blasts and everyone falls into the water. TJ is saved by his father, but Alex is seen drifting away. Max saves her and takes her to the shore. Alex then reunites with her father, President Bragov. Back at the house, we see that the American security team and Russian security team are having a heated argument, whereas TJ says that maybe someone is trapping them, but no one listens to him. After a while, TJ meets Alex outside the house and says that he's suspicious of Agent Thorne. Alex is also ready to reveal the truth. Later that night, we see the preparation of the event that's happening for peaceful ties. Both Alex and TJ pretend to be sick in order to avoid the event so that they could carry out their plan to catch Agent Thorne red-handed. When the event starts, President Bennett's wife starts to perform with her piano. Meanwhile, Alex and TJ go backstage with Max and send him to find Agent Thorne while they're staying there and hiding in a closet. But suddenly, someone locks them in from the outside. It turns out that the man who tried to kidnap them locks them in, and he's now seen cutting the rope of the chandelier to hurt President Bennett's wife. Max goes there and tries to stop him, but the kidnapper has a knife which scares the dog. He then proceeds to cut the rope and drops the chandelier. But somehow, Alex and TJ manage to get out of the closet just in time and scream. TJ's mom steps aside and saves herself. Both Alex's and TJ's parents are angry at them yet again. TJ tells his parents that Agent Thorne is the bad guy and requests his father to tell him to show his ankle for bite marks. When they check Agent Thorne's ankle, nothing comes up. Vladimir gets disappointed and makes his decision of ending the peace talks and leaves for Moscow. Agent Thorne again talks of removing Max from the security team. President Bennett ignores TJ's pleas, gives the permission, and leaves. Agent Thorne then takes Max away from TJ and locks him up in a cage. In the next scene, TJ goes to get yogurt from the kitchen and Coop is present there too. When TJ's spoon drops while talking, he sees the bite scar on Coop's ankle. He now knows everything about Coop. The person who TJ trusted turns out to be a traitor. As he's about to leave, Coop stops him. Then he reveals his identity as a Russian agent. Coop tells TJ that he doesn't want the peace talks between America and Russian to happen. When TJ runs to get a knife, Coop catches him and then locks him in the refrigerator. He then calls Olga, the bodyguard, and orders her to kidnap Alex and leave TJ there. Meanwhile, Olga takes Alex to the forest while she's dizzy. When Alex asks about her dad, she ties her up. Moments later, Max wakes up at TJ's scream. He digs a hole and comes out of the other side. He then breaks the window to the cabin and goes in. Security and the parents are all alerted by his commotion. He leads them and takes them to the kitchen near TJ and they take him out. TJ tells them that Alex is in danger. They immediately rush towards Alex's room, but it was too late. The security team immediately makes up a plan, but TJ is sick of the delay and makes Max smell Alex's jacket. He immediately runs towards the forest and TJ asks everyone to follow him. All of them are seen following Max in their cars. Meanwhile, Alex has hit Olga and she's running to the other side of the forest. 
Suddenly, Coop catches her, but Alex drops her slipper while resisting. They then take her inside the van and leave. Max leads everyone to the slipper and goes to the other side of the river. Agent Thorne orders to block the road at the end. Max sees the van and is seen chasing it, but Coop speeds up. Max then takes a shortcut and jumps at Coop's van. Inside the van, Alex hits Alga and pushes her aside. The road comes to an end where the family members and police cars are present. Finally, the police take Alex out and arrest Coop and Alga. After this incident, President Bennett immediately apologized to TJ for not wanting to believe all his son's words to make up for all of it. Alex and TJ ask their parents to continue working together. In the final scene of the movie, we see that both the presidents are continuing the peace talks at a press conference. Max is given an award for bravery. Agent Thorne then takes Max in when Charlie has come back, and TJ is surprised by his parents as they bring Charlie's puppies with them.